Hey guys, this is Lucas the Boss here with my new Bow Pup Railgun. Ha. You thought. Such a troll. Alright guys, on a more serious note, this is my collaboration project with a Cherry B1 or Connect Streaming Stupid. I will link you in the description below. So don't get your pants in a lot, Jared. But, yeah, this is my, my and Jared's, uh, railgun, called Velocity. Uh, yeah, the mag looks wrong. Um, it's not bullpup, like I said in the intro. That's just storage back there, and I can show you all that again. Oh, yeah, just, just pull this real back. I don't have any rubber bands on it right now. Undo the mag lock. And slide it out, which is hard to do with one hand. Here's the magazine, it's preloadable. Right now it's modified to shoot connector ammo, but I will wait, hang on. All you gotta do is grab a Y clip and put it in the front right here and it shoots yellow rods perfectly. I just was seeing how the connector ammo performed before I started this video, but anyway, the, this just slides back in here. Like this, and then a little click. All you gotta do is just it just slides back out. But it's got it's not falling out whenever it's in storage. And you just pull back up here, and it's ready to shoot. Um, I'll show you guys the trigger. If you don't see that or not, but you pull this thing back. Can't get forward until you pull the trigger. It slides forward. And the mag. Hang on one second. There we go. But That was weird. <laughs> I had so many bloopers in this video so far. But I will do a panel review now. It's the front portion of the gun. It's the magazine sticking out. The trigger. Here's the rear storage unit. And there's just a simple butt pad. I'll give you guys a. First person view. Jump down sights. Wait. The sights are flipped down right now. They are adjustable sights. And they're not even split apart yet. Man, I've had so many bloopers in this video so far. Hang on, let's see. Yeah, um, it's a very powerful gun, uh, I'll talk about the difference, which, uh, differences between mine and Jared's is, his is two more connectors longer on the rail, meaning that his is longer than mine, um, my handle's a little bit different, my rail, his connects to up in here, but it'd be more like out here since his is much longer, um, what else is different? I think he modified his trigger a little bit. I don't think he did full paneling on the back. I think he kind of stopped his around in here. And, um, everything else. The, this front portion is exactly the same. I think he might have done something a little bit different with his shuttle rail thing. But other than that, oh, and the sights are different too. Mine are, mine are adjustable. So I thought that was pretty cool. But now I will try and get to the uh, shooting demonstration. So I will see you guys in a second. I figured I'd do a quick little, uh, short little clip on how you load the magazines. I would guess it holds about 10 or 12, but I've only got four right here. But you just don't do that. <sighs> Man, I'm never happy. 
like so many bloopers in one video. Now we're going to discuss how the rubber band placement's done. It's just basically you hook it into the hole right there. You don't do that either. Gosh, what is wrong with me today? Alright, you get that side done like that. And then you take the other side. And you do the same thing. There's one other green rod. Dang, I don't know if I'm going to be able to upload this video or not. I've had so many bloopers. Which is probably harsh for other people, but very unprofessional for me. Anyway, there's the rubber bands back on. So, now let's get to the whole point of what I was fixing to do. Let's pull this down. The answer, by the way, I did put the lock clip back in there. So we are going to be shooting rods today. That's loaded. Now we can shoot it. I figured that while I was here, before I started the fire demonstration, I might as well show you how the soda and sugar thing works. So I've only got one rubber band on here, so on the other side, but you pull it back like that, and then you just, it's very simple. Well, actually you could just bloke. It's very simple to fix. That's just the wonders of having connects guns. Is it always, something always works when you're trying to make a video, so. Thank you, Connects.com, for making connectors that don't hook into each other half the time. I also figured that since I had to go in and fix it, that I might as well show you what the trigger actually does. There's the actual trigger, and it just catches on to the, um, I get the back. Time for this is what we do with that being on the ground. Catches it like that, and then the rail keeps getting caught in the carpet. But that's how it works. And I need to figure out a system to keep this broken rod from slipping off of this wire, less wire connector, because it's really getting aggravating. Yeah, that's the trigger. All right, so. Well, I'm gonna be shooting one round because this thing's giving me so much difficulty here today. Oh, double kill. Hit my rocking chair and hit my new shine bottle. It's the most favorite thing I've ever heard. I won't change the camera angle. Now I'm gonna be shooting towards my phone. about the building hop up and it almost hit my phone. Yeah, it's got a building hop up. These little these little uh, green connectors. So I was aiming at the middle of my rocking chair and because of the hop up it hit over my rocking chair and hit my wall. So it like came buzzing by my phone. Let's see if I can get another camera angle. Hopefully y'all can see that. Did I mention that this gun also shoots Phantom Eye? I probably, probably can see that very well. Oh well. So thank you guys for watching the video. If you enjoy, uh, consider liking the video. Um, sorry about all the issues I was having at the beginning of the video. All I took was me gluing the trigger, which is something I should have done a long time ago. It's bigger than glue. I think I'm getting high off that crap because I feel, I feel weird. I'm feeling it now, Mr. Krabs. <laughs> if you watch much about you'll get it, but, um, hope you guys enjoyed the video, and... I'm out.